So this is memory, right? And your memory starts from zero back there and then comes to some big number that we don't want to mention. So I'm just going to mention the last three digits. So that's that number, if you can read it, that's going to be the number 23 million, whatever. And then 100, 101, 102. So these are the addresses of the bytes of memory. And we said essentially memory is a, a character array. And the index of each character is the address of the memory, right? So essentially, these are like the, depending on how big your memory is, whatever it is, this is the one. And these numbers show what is the sequence number of the, of the byte. So what is the address of this byte? 111. What is the address of this byte? 112. Okay? We are essentially saying 112th byte in memory, 139th byte in memory, 100 and 27th byte in memory. Are we okay with this? All right. Yes. Question now? You have a question? Okay. I haven't started. I'm like, ooh. Okay. So when you actually ask, you write integer var and double d var. When you write something like this in your code, a piece of memory is specially reserved for you, and it puts a variable in there. So it calls it var. That's your var. Okay, and dvar is here, it's eight bytes because it's a double. That's essentially what operating system and compiler do together to give you a variable. Are we okay with this? And then in your code, when you actually want to, when you actually want to, you can create a new integer. That uh, integer, we call it an address pointer, <laughs> okay? We call it an address pointer. An address pointer's job, okay, I call it PTR, is to hold other variables' addresses. And that's, I call it PTR over here. Okay, let's call it a pointer. All right? Are we okay with this? Now, if I write <coughs> PTR is equal to address of var, what's going to go into PTR? 108. Correct? Because that's the address of var. Are we OK with this? Is that? Well, OK. Are we OK with this? So if I say target of PTR, what do I actually mean? It means, it means, oh, sorry, I went one too far. PTR is address of var, so this is 108, becomes the address of var, okay? Now if I say, what is target of PTR? It means I need to put something into target of PTR. It means go to the pointer, see what the address is, and put it right in there, okay? So essentially, it finds out where that thing is and puts it over there, two, three, four, five. Does that make sense? Or everybody's confused like, okay. <clears throat> Again, going back. Why are you trying to confuse yourself? No, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Okay? Yes, you can. No, no, but isn't that what you were showing? No, no. Yes, you were saying. So how do you point the what's right and not address? Oh, that's what I'm saying. Just give me a second. So when you write int var, that's int var, right? If you say var is equal to two three five, two three five will go in here, right? If I say dvar is equal to 1.365, 1, 1.365 goes inside here, correct? Mm -hmm. That's how the variables work. You can create a new integer that we call it a pointer. Pointer's job is not to hold numbers. It's to hold other variables' addresses. So it's a special type of integer, OK? And when, how do I set it? If I say PTR over here, if I say PTR over here, is set to address of var, it goes in the memory and sees where your var is beginning, and it puts that one over there. So essentially, it holds the address of other variables. But wouldn't that be hmm? so, so when you put the 108, it's just an address that holds the address of the variable, right? Or not, not on there. The 108 is an address. Yeah, and PTR is a variable that holds that address. 
It's an integer. Oh, it's not an address. No. Okay. Don't give pointers extra credit. They are just integers. OK? Int var, pointer PTR. Potatoes, potatoes. This is just a new name for an integer. Remember short integer, short int. Remember long. What is the difference between long and int? It's the same thing. A pointer is just an integer, a special type of integer. OK, what does it hold? It holds the address of other variables. OK, so that PDR is actually holding the address of the, the variable that is 108. Therefore, if I say put to the target of PTR the value 2,345, it goes and sees, OK, what is the target of PDR? 108. It goes to 108 and puts it right over there, right? So essentially, pointers hold the addresses of other variables the exact same way if I actually, and, and therefore, if I print var afterwards, what's going to get printed? 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Because indirectly, it's as if I'm going to say, put that pencil inside the pencil case on that thing. So I'm giving you the address of, I'm not, I am, can I touch this? I am not giving this to you and say put in it. That's giving the variable. But if I told you the pencil case on the table, put it over there, I am telling him where the variable is to put the variable over there remotely. And that's exactly what happens over here. I have the integer var, I have the pointer, I'm going to put the address of var inside the pointer and indirectly tell to the compiler to C language, go to the target of PTR and put the value over there. Why? Because I'm crazy and I want to make everybody miserable. That's why. I, uh, people are going to tell me, why do you not just putting the 2000 thingy inside the var itself? Why going through this trouble? Why you are eating a sandwich like this? Just put it in your mouth. Why you're ter I'm going to come to the point soon, but just let's try to understand. Do we under are we OK with this down to this point? OK? But if I actually, so if I say print target of PTR, what's going to be the output of this one? Don't fall for it. Read first. The target of PTR is still 2345. So I have two ways to access the var variable. One through its own name, the other one through its address. Are we OK with this? How many people are confused to, to the bone? I mean, like. You want to kill yourself now? You? OK. No? Yeah. Are we OK down to here? No, down to here, are we OK? Seriously. Are we? All right. All right. Now, what happens if I do this? Percent u, by the way, means unsigned integer. Can an address be negative? Can I have byte number minus, minus fifth byte? You can't do that, right? Addresses are always positive, correct? Because of that, you put percent %u. Percent %u, you haven't seen it. It's exact like percent %d, but it says this is all positive. It can't be negative. If you print minus 2 using percent %u, some big positive number is going to pop out, OK? So it's only positive. So if I say printf percent %u ptr, what's going to get printed now? 108. Are we OK with this? So if I say print var, 2,000 is going to get printed. If I say target of PTR, still 2,000 is going to get printed. It goes to that one. But if I say print PTR itself, then 108 is going to get printed. Are we OK with this? Are we OK? The gray area is actually that, because what you're going to see get printed is actually the real address, big one. But we are just putting the small one so it's manageable. Yes. You know what happens? It happens that you already read that you know the answer. You want to? No, I don't. No, but soon. Yeah. But it's actually a, good, it's a, a very nice thing happens. That's the difference between PTR as an integer, as a pointer, and an integer as a pointer. If you have an integer, if I add 1 to var, everybody, please, I want to answer. If I add 1 to var, what's going to be the result? 2,346, correct? If I add 1 to PTR, what is the logical value to be added to go to next integer?
if I make this one 109, can 109 be an integer? No, it's one quarter of an integer. It's going to be halfway through the other integer. To jump to the next integer, how much I have to go further? Four bytes, right? Because that's the size of an integer. And that's the answer to your question. The only difference between pointers and integers is that adding one to a pointer adds the size of the target. So if the target is a double, it's going to add eight bytes because it has to jump to the next double. If it's an integer, but we don't need to know that now. He asked, bad boy later on, you can beat him outside, but he asked and I had to answer. Okay, but that's the only, that's why I say PTR is just an integer. Don't give it too much attention. It's just an integer. It's just a special type of integer. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's do the exact same thing with the address of DVAR. So if I actually put the address of dvar inside PTR, what's going to happen? It's going to be 132, right? Because dvar is sitting on 132, correct? Right? <clears throat> and then I want to say, OK, target of PTR is now equal to that one. So it puts the double value in there. Are we OK with this? Right? Any problem with this? But there is a problem in here. How does it know what is the target? Did I mention what type of a thing sitting over here? See, I have target of PTR is equal to, last time I had 2,345 integer, now I have a double number. If you recall, we said whenever you have an assignment, first the right side gets resolved, then it puts it at left, right? How from this part, from target of PTR, just this, just this one, it can recognize what is the address? What, sorry, what is sitting at the target? If I showed you an envelope, an address on an envelope, 2345 Young Street, can you tell me what's over there? Is it a house? Is it a hospital? 70 the Pound Road. Is it my uncle's house or is it a big Seneca building? From an address, you can never say what is sitting at the target, correct? Then that's going to be trouble. We can't do that. Because of that, we have to kind of fix our design. Instead of just saying address pointer, I have to mention what type of a thing. So I have to fix that. My design should be like this. I have int var double, then I have to say integer pointer PTR. Now pointer is a variable whose job is to hold the addresses of integers. integers only. Therefore, when I put a value over there, it will know that the address is an address of an integer. And when you add the integer, the integer is going to be there and life is beautiful. Are we OK with this? And now if I print that one, everything works the exact same way, no problem. And if I want a double pointer, then I have to create another variable and make that one double pointer, dptr, let's call it. OK? And now with that, I can actually get the address and put it in there. Then I can actually set some value and, and show the value and everything comes out perfectly. Are we OK with this? Are we OK? Now let's look at it in practice. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm saying yes, yes, slow down is that uh, people are just struggling to, 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 to try to get what the heck Farhad is talking about, and then suddenly we are going, wait, OK? Wait, just wait. Just wait for a second. So <clears throat> we said we have integer var, right? Uh, well, we just want to see it in practice, right? If I want to hold the address of that one, what should I call it? Integer pointer p. TR, correct? Then I have to say PTR is set to address of <coughs> var, correct? Right? Now I can actually indirectly say target of var is set to 2345 
And now I can say printf, percent %d, new line, and in here I can say var, that it actually prints the var, okay? And the other one, I'm going to, var, and the other one I'm going to say, uh, what am I going to say? I'm going to say printf, uh, percent %d, new line, now I'm going to say target of, var and then I'm going to say print up, printf percent u and I'm just going to show PTR so okay are we okay with this are we okay yes. okay just a second Oh, I made a mistake, PTR. Sorry, <clears throat> PTR. So nobody corrected me, actually, but it's OK. So, so integer pointer PTR, PTR is address of var. Now I'm going to say target of PTR is 2, 3, 4, 5. Because PTR is holding the address of var, essentially this 2, 3, 4, 5 will go in var, right? Now I'm going to say printf uh, var, it's going to print 2, 3, 4, 5. Prints target of PTR, prints 2, 3, 4, 5. If I say printf PTR by itself, it's going to print a gigantic positive number. And that number is what we want to look at. So if I run this beautiful program of mine, three years later, we're going to see that's going to be the result. And this is the address in which actually var is sitting in memory. OK? Now, kind of try to remember this number. Don't memorize it, but look at it. See how does it look like. You see that? Let me run the program again. Is it the same number? No. Because every single time when the program call runs, it asks the OS to give me a piece of memory. Not necessarily it's the same place. For us, it doesn't make, we don't care, because var is the handle of it. That's where I'm going to ask you to put it. Where in memory it sits, I don't care, right? And your thing that you were saying, or now, it's you, yours, you said if you add one. So if I actually do PTR++, and I print it again, huh? Afterwards, it's some garbage. What do you want to know what's garbage? I don't know what's garbage. You want to see, you, you want to see what's stored in there? Sure, no problem. It's got to be something garbage. Come on, for heaven's sake. Hey. Okay, sure. You want to? See? Sure. Just another man's treasure, another man's garbage. What do you mean? Wait, no, another man's treasure. Another man's treasure. Sorry. No coffee. <laughs> Why can't I write Tyvet for some reason? <laughs> All right, so are we okay now? Now, if I run this program. This is what I'm going to get. So as you see, it's 2345, like it was before. The address is 15 yada yada 60, right? I added 1 to it, and then it added 4 to it, as you see, right? Yeah. And this gentleman wanted to see what is the value of garbage. We showed what is it, because I said, show me what is the target of PTR. Because I just increased it to 1, it went to the next one. So PTR is now pointing to some garbage thingy that no, belongs to no one. If I actually set that PTR to a value, then you would get segmentation fault, core dumped, or in here, uh, illegal operation, because you are putting something in that, that doesn't belong to you. All right? Are we OK? Yes. All right. Are we OK down to here? Yes. How much time do we have? 30 seconds. You're serious? No. No, no. We have 10 minutes. <laughs> OK, so now. Now, pointer, address of, target of, they don't exist. I just made it up. How did it compile then? I create the header file, called it ptr.h, and in that one I did. Define pointer to asterisk. Define address of to 
ampersand the find target of two asterisks. So before the program gets compiled, it looks for all the pointers and replaces them with asterisk. It looks to all the addresses and replaces them with ampersand. So because if you put those things, <laughs> if you put those things, they would go, what the heck? But when it's in English, you understand. Remember that I told you whenever you see ampersand, you must say address of? Remember? Yeah. That's what I did, essentially. So when you actually write address of, it is address of. Now, let's actually put the, the nice face of it. See how does it look like. So essentially, so in this one, I'm going to call it zero two fake pointer. OK? So what happens is that when you say integer pointer, it's integer pointer. So whenever you see an asterisk after a type, it actually together, they mean integer pointer. The asterisk actually belongs to int, not to PTR. That's a common, that's a common, everybody writes it like this. But it actually means this, so I want you to write that. Never, even if you see in the note, if you see the asterisk is hanging from the PTR's butt, take it off. Put it the other one. It has to go at integer asterisk. It has to, as, asterisk belongs to integer, not the variable. Together, they mean integer pointer. OK? Never call that integer asterisk. I'll kill you. <laughs> integer pointer PTR. So you know this is a pointer. Address of, you already know what is that. You did it in scanf. Right? Correct? And target of, it's an asterisk again. So, how, what the heck is going on? How am I supposed to understand what asterisk means where? It's very simple. There are like three rules. How to understand what asterisk means. When you see an asterisk and you feel life is smiling at you, <laughs> that means multiplication. Regular, good old matter. So A is equal to L multiplied by B. All right? That's always that. There is no other way. OK? So if you see it makes sense, it's multiplication. If you see it set, if you see you have an asterisk and you keep going to left, and the first thing you hit is a type, it means that asterisk belongs to the type, no matter how they write it. So I wrote it like this. That's the worst type of writing it, even if you see it like this. OK? Always this means together they mean integer pointer. Integer pointer, PTR. So if at, at, left, if, if at left side of it, uh, asterisk there is a type, the asterisk belongs to the type. Together they mean pointer of that type. Double pointer, character pointer, student pointer, employee pointer, employee is a structure. Okay? You can have a pointer to a structure too, it doesn't matter. You can have addresses to everything, anything that you want. All right? Now, the last one is this. Whenever, that, exactly. Whenever you say, huh? What the heck? Whenever you see that, it means target of. And it means what is sitting in front of it is a pointer. It means A is set to target of B multiplied by target of C, which means C is a pointer, B is a pointer. So whenever you see you're confused, what the heck is that? Whenever you have that in your mind, it means asterisk belongs to the variable, and it means target of. OK? And then you fix it. So essentially, you have to write it like this. Target of B multiplied by target of C. And definitely, B and C are pointers. If you go up in your program, you'll find out that B and C are, are pointers. Are we OK with this? I know you're confused, the bone. But I want you to go and read the pointer thing here to, to get more clear about this. Therefore, coming to my friend's question over here, OK? Let me just save this. Uh, oh, this target of, this is point asterisk 2. OK. So if I run this, essentially, the
the result is exactly the same. Okay? I have 2345, 2345. This is the address of where var is sitting, and I added one to it. That's four bytes, so it goes to four. Actually, let's do something else. Um, uh, zero, 03 int pointer. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, just to, to show you it doesn't make any difference, I'm going to change it to a double. So it's a double variable, it's a double pointer, it's a double pointer PTR, PTR is address of var, target of PTR 2345.6789. Printf LF, printf LF. Do I need to change this? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Do I need to change this? No. Listen, very important thing. Pointers are all from the same type. So they are all integers. Their target is different. That's why you can print them all with percent %u. The address of a double, as I mentioned, 70 the pond road, address is address. It doesn't make any difference. It's the target that is the difference, different thing. Okay? So before you run this, you're missing out the body. Stupid compiler. Okay. So that's percent LF. My friend likes to see garbage. Okay? And another thing. Now I can say printf, please. Enter a double. Okay? Now I can say scanf percent lf, and in here what I'm going to put? PTR. I do not need to put an ampersand. Why? Because PTR is already an address. I don't need to put an address of something in there. Okay. Right? Just like. Look at it. It says PTR is the same as address of var, right? If you wanted to read the variable, put address of var over here, right? Because PTR is address of var, you don't need the ampersand thingy anymore, right? Are we okay with this? <laughs> All right? I don't know. They were watching over there. Are we okay with this? Okay, so now if I, and now I can say printf the double you entered is okay wait 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 hey wait 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 how many ways of doing this percent lf backslash n how do how many ways of doing this i can say print var right 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 right, right. what else i can do what did i do whoa Man, when I'm in rush, I screw things up. Okay, the next thing I can do over here is target of PTR. It's not going to run away. It's going to stay outside. We'll be there in two minutes. Wait. Okay, so now if I actually run this beautiful program of mine, it's got to say, please enter a double. And mine is, wow, that's, that's lucky. Anyways, now in here, I'm going to actually say enter a double, 2.345. And I'm going to have two points. Oh, I made a mistake. Amazing. Look, 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 look. Good, good. <clears throat> what happened? Why? I want you to. No, no, no. This is, this is something beautiful that happened right now. And you should learn from it. And I'm not joking. Can you tell me why my program failed? Why my program failed? Because what? No. Yes. No. I just mentioned that PTR is address of var, and that's actually the mistake that I'm making. Some guy told me, add one to PTR. I want to see what's in the garbage. Remember that? <laughs> I added one to PTR. Now the address doesn't belong to me anymore. I'm trying to put something in it. He was the cause. 
to actually go back and be able to do something to do, I have to say PTR minus minus, to go back to the one that belongs to me. Now if I run this beautiful, beautiful program of mine, by the way, that's the double value garbage for you right now. Okay, 2.3.5, and now I have the proper value. 